Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Today we are going to see problem C of Pioneer Research Step 1. The problem says, given an array of n numbers sorted in non-decreasing order and k queries are also given. For each query element, we have to print the minimum index of an array element not less than the given one, which means we have to print the element greater than or equal to the current query element. Now let's see the constraints. Here n and k are from 0 up to 10 to the power 5 and the value of the array element and the query elements are up to 2e9 in absolute value which means negative 2e9 to positive 2e9 now let's see the example we are given an array 33589 for the query element 2 we see the smallest possible element which is greater than or equal to 2 is this 3 so which is basically at position 1 so we printed 1 for it now for 4 the minimum possible element which is greater or equal to this 4 is 5 which is at the third position so we printed 3 for 8 such element is 8 itself since it is greater than or equal to so 8 is equal to 8 so we printed 4 for it since it is at the fourth position especially for the query element 10 we saw there is no element which is greater than or equal to 10 in the array. So we printed n plus 1 for 10, that is 6. Now let's discuss the approach to solve it. One way could be a simple linear search. We can do it in that way. Another way can be a simple binary search. For example, in the array, we will perform binary search by finding the mid and we will break our loop whenever we find an index i such that the element at the index i is smaller than the current query element while the element at the index i plus 1 is just greater than or equal to the current query element. In that case, the answer would be i plus 1. But again, we can solve it in a more concise way by using another STL function that is known as lower bound function. Now let us check what actually lower bound do is for any element, if we search it in any of the sorted array, it will find the iterator to the element if it is present in the array. Otherwise, it will return an iterator to element just greater than the element searched in it. We will better understand with the example. For example, for this given array 33589, if we find the lower bound for element 2, it will return an iterator to element 3 not this 3 but this previous 3 the reason being it returns the very first occurrence of the element just greater than the element we searched for example if we search for the lower bound of element 8 it will return an iterator to the element 8 because it actually search for the element itself first and if it don't find that element then it looks for the element just greater than it and in case the element is not present and there is no greater element than the element searched in the lower bound, then it returns the end of the array. That is an iterator to the end of the array. So we can see for any element, if we search for 10 as lower bound in this array, it will return an iterator to the end of the array. Now we see how we can find our answer using this lower bound. Now let's see how to answer for the query elements as given in the example. For let's say query element 2, if we found the lower bound, it will return an iterator to this element. In case of 4, it will return an iterator to this element. Since there does not exist any 4 and the element just greater than 4 is 5. Similarly, for 8, it will return an iterator to this element and for 1 again it return an iterator to this element and for 10 it will return an iterator to the last of the array. So with these iterators we can find the answer as follows. For example for the number 2 we got the iterator for this number and the a dot begin iterator is also pointing to this number. If we see out the difference or if we print the difference of the current iterator with the begin iterator we will get the answer as 0 but it should be 
1 for the case of 2. Now let's see for the query element 4. We get the iterator to this number 5. But if we print the difference of this current iterator with the begin iterator, we will get the answer as 2. Since we will only get these much of elements in that case. But we have to output the index of this element. Since it's at the third position, so we have to add one more to the difference of these two iterators. So the answer would be the difference of these two iterators plus one. We can check for other query elements as well. For example, for a query item 8, it will return an iterator to this element while the a dot begin is over here and the difference between two of these elements will return three only while the answer should be four. So we have to add one in this difference. So that's how we are going to solve this problem using the lower bound function. Now let's jump to the code. Here we will first take two input n and k. After then we will take the array as input which is a of size n. Here we can see either we can take the array k input or one by one we can print the answer. So we are going to run a loop from 0 to k. And take the element x as input which is our query element. For this element we will find the lower bound in this a array. Now as we discussed in the explanation, we will print the difference of this iterator with the begin iterator and add 1 to it. That will give us the answer. And as we can see, I have already taken the input in the input file and we got the answer 13416 as expected. Now let's try to submit it in the problem. And yes, it got accepted. So that's it. I hope you understand it. And if you do, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.